Hello all. So now let us see the next uh, uh, transformation in data flows. So that is conditional split tra transformation. So this is very simple transformation based on the name. Uh, it's going to work actually. So let us see what is that. So the conditional split transformation routes the data rows to different streams. Very importantly, based on the condition actually. So for which condition uh, it is matching that particular data moving to that side actually. So different streams will be there. So that is what conditional split. So conditional split transformation is similar to case decision in any other programming languages. Like in C, we have a switch function. So in the switch, we are going to have a different cases, right? So for which case the match is occurred, that particular block of code is going to execute. So even here also, based on the condition, we are going to have a many conditions. So let us try to see its overview. So here we are going to have a data set. This is the data and uh, this data we are going to have a condition here so if this condition is satisfying for which row suppose for this row if this condition is satisfied then that particular row is going to this side actually to this stream so like that we are going to have a many conditions so on any column if you put a condition okay whoever satisfying that condition that side it is going to there actually so that particular row is going to that particular side so let us try to understand this one so the transformation evaluates expressions and based on the result direct the data row to specified stream so basing on the condition whichever is satisfying so that particular stream side data is going to move actually so let us try to understand with a practical session so here if you take uh, uh, adf so first of all, let us come here. So I'm going to take a, this is my blob storage. So from, and this is the EMP table actually. So this is EMP data. Here we are going to have total uh, 14 rows. Okay. Now here, if you, if you observe, uh, if I click on preview, you can see here department number 10, 20, 30. So I want to divide this data. For example, here, if you see, this is the data which we are seeing from the file. There are total eight columns are there. In that, if you observe the DEPT number, so it is combination of three departments actually, 10, 20, 30. Now I want the 10th department employees in separate file and the 20th department employees in another separate file and the 30th department is in another separate file. So my column here is department number so whoever have similar value, those records I want into a separate file actually. So this is what uh, streams we need. So based on this column, we need to put a condition and then we need to direct the data actually accordingly. So how you can achieve same thing in Azure Data Factory by using data flow. So let us try to take a data flow, new data flow, then we need to connect to this particular file. So for that, let us try to create a source. Then here source, we need to, uh, this is actually a EMP table, EMP data. So let us name it as EMP. Then let us take this one. So here source is EMP. Uh, data flow name is, let us try to give as conditional split. Okay, conditional split transformation. Okay, yeah. Now, here, let us try to give name for this EMP. Then we need to create a data set. Let us try to take a new data set. It's a, it is data is in a, uh, file is actually in a blob storage. Go to continue. File type is CSV, select that. Then give the name for that data set underscore uh, EMP, it is from blobs. Give some relevant names so that later you can refer actually. And the linked service, which I already created. So this is LS linked service underscore blob EFN. And uh, you can see here, first row is actually a, uh, first row is actually 
column names actually. So that is why first row as headers, you can check, then select the file. So here, so in this blob, we have two containers, two folders, CM, uh, that is, go to the container source and destination. So those two you must get here. So let us see. So in source uh, uh, container, we have a EMP table file. So select EMP table dot CSV, click OK. Then click on first row as header because uh, in the data we have, uh, you can see in the data we have uh, first row as headers actually, column names. So that's all. So click OK so that uh, we are going to create a data set. So data set is created. So now uh, check the data what we have. So before that, we must enable data flow debug option actually. So to run any data flow, we must enable this data flow debug option. So refresh, then we can we can we can able to see the data here. So here you can see total 14 records we are we we fetched from the file. Now if you click on this plus, then you can take the conditional split. So you can see by default, uh, whenever you select the conditional split, you will have two uh, uh, directions here, okay? But all of them you can operate from here only, okay? See here how many branches you have, conditional split. This is one condition, this is one condition. So these are calling as a branch. How many branches we have, that many, uh, lines we are going to have here that many conditions we can create here by default this second one this second one is for uh, other rows which are uh, if any uh, if any rows are not satisfying any condition then those are coming to here that is what rows that do not meet any condition will use this output stream so let us let it be time being now you can see here for this for this first branch, let us try to create a DEPT number records actually, DEPT 10, uh, department number 10 records. Now, how you will identify these are 10th department uh, records, then you need to write a condition here. So that is what go to the expression builder. So click on this. Then here, what is the column you want? So go here, department number. See, ABC meaning is it is a string type. Now, department number, if it is equal to, so you can have a operators here, select a proper operator that is equal. Now, this, if it is equal to 10, see, the moment I given 10, what happened here is it is throwing an error actually. So, expressions type integer is not matching. So, because you see department number, this column name is actually a string type and the value you are providing is actually a integer type either you convert this 10 into string or you convert this department number into integer so that is why it's always better is we will come back to this one uh, let us now remember that here red color underline that means there is error save and finish then go back to the original source then go to the projection so here you can see by default, if you are picking the data, if you are fetching the data from a file, by default, all columns data type is string. Then you can change its that data type actually. So in the source itself, department number, if you convert into integer, then later on you are not going to have any problem. So now you come here, then go here. If you see here, there is no red color underline. Now both of them is in sync. That means LHS is integer and 10 is also integer. So there is no error actually. So click OK. Now time being, I am just putting other here. That means whoever not satisfied, that means whoever not 10, department number 10, all of them coming into this string. So go to the data preview. Let us just refresh it. So meanwhile, you can see EMP data, 10th department, how many employees are there? So 7th row is 10th department, then 9th row is 10th department, 
then 13th row is 10th department. So total three employees are there. So you can see highlighted. Okay. So see here, 10 de 10th department employees are three. So the clerk, Kling, King and Miller. So that is what you can see. Clark, King and Miller. Okay. And uh, at the same time, you see other result. What is other result? For this, you are not going to have any separate window. Here you can see output stream. There is a drop down. How many branches here we have? That means how many conditions we have? That many you are going to have here, whatever names we given. So that is what if you click on other, total 14 employees are there. Three are there in the 10th department. So that means remaining 11, 11 records we should get here. So that is what you can see the count total 11 employees. So now let us go to the configuration. Now let us try to uh, build for other departments also. That means let us remove this default one. Let us take a new one, new row, uh, conditional stream. So here let us try to give department number 20. Same thing here, DEPT number equal to 20. Then let us try to take another one. So that is DEPT 30. Then here also DEPT number equal to 30. Now let us try to preview the data. Accordingly, we must get the data. That means 10th department employees 20, 30 separately. So you can see, okay, this is 10th department. Now, if you click on drop down, you must have three options because three conditions we defined. So 20th department, if you take, so in the 20th department, there are one, two, three, four, five. There are five employees are there. So you can see five employees. Then these are the five employees. Then similarly, 30th department. So in the 30th department, there are six employees actually. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six. So that is what you can see. Total six. So five plus six, 11. 11 plus three, 14. Total 14 employees are there in this five. So this is the way you can use the conditional split when you have when you want to divide your data into uh, basing on some condition then conditional split is going to help you then after this you can add a sync so sync file then where you want to store this so that is what so try to create a so this result we would like to store in a, another container which is destination container so time being, we don't have any uh, files here. Now let us try to create a, so this is blob storage. Your target data store is blob. What type of file it is CSV file, continue. So data set underscore. So data set underscore file name. Uh, this is destination container, okay? And the link code service is same. Then select first row as header. So here you, you have to select your destination container that is this one. Okay. Then click OK. So click first row as header. Then save OK. Okay. See here we didn't select any file. In this container we would like to store these results actually. That's all. So now it's going to create a data set with this name. Yes. Done. Now similar fashion. Let us try to create another sync for the 20th department. Okay. So let us take sync. And one more thing here, if you come, go to the uh, settings, then here, what is the file name you want? So you must select output to single file. The whole result you must want, you want to uh, take into the same file. Then set single partition select on this the, then give the file name here so this is dept 10.csv dept 10.csv give the file name so with this name this result is going to uh, store actually now similar fashion here data set is same that is data set destination but 
here in the settings let us try to take a single uh, to uh, single partition actually then here the uh, file name is dept20.csv then similar fashion here take a sync for 30th department then select the data set that is also same destination data set then here again take a output to single file set single partition then give the file name dept30.csv okay so with this your data set is ready now this data set to run what we need to do go to the pipeline take a new pipeline then under move under trans transform category you are going to have a data flow so give the name so that is conditional split okay then select the data flow which we created that is conditional split transformation now if i trigger in the destination container or folder we are going to have these three files actually so let me debug this so when you are debugging any data flow data flow debug option must be enabled okay that we must ensure actually to run your data flow so so that accordingly transformation is going to happen so actually to run your transformation you must need a, a computation and storage right so that is going to provided by enabling this data flow debug option okay so now it's running so when when it is running you can see you can go to the details actually so that you can uh, monitor what is happening so here it will show you how many records return all these things actually so sync 3 that means i guess uh, department 30 uh, records already written and remaining are in queue okay okay let it be yes you see other one is also completed department number 20 right then another one is in queue so it's uh, completed now you can come here see here three rows return five rows six rows total 14 rows now let us refresh this destination container so you see there are three files if you open 10th department and it's a data click on edit see all 10th department employees are there and uh, similarly 20th department then click edit all five records in 20th department and six records in 30th department so you can see that okay so it is very simple that conditional split we are going to use when you have a multiple streams and you want to divide the uh, input data basing on some conditions when you have more than one condition then conditional split is the best suitable one uh, to transform the data actually okay